What's up guys, Tyler and here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add a software or your software to the context menu when you right click on the file. It's either any file or the extension you want. So in my case I want to add it to one of these here. So right now like it has here open with Adam and it has this Adam logo and for anything else as well. So first of all we need our registry editor and I have mine right here. So we are in HK classes root and first of all if our software needs to be used for any kind of file like my file encryptor I want to go to the star icon or star thing then I want to go to shell and then I want to add my software name so I'm gonna add easy file encryptor because that's what my software is called and I want to add another key called command and here I can add an icon double click on that make it point to the software because it automatically takes the icon of the software it if it has one and here we want to set the text what is going to say when we right click so like open with atom we want to say encrypt with EFE. So when I right click on the file now it says um, encrypt with EFE and shows the icon right here. And next we want to make uh, something which is actually applying the use of the software. See like this uh, it doesn't work. So what I want to do is go here and add again the software location and add a percent one and now if I'm going to open it it's going to apply the file location now I want to go to the extension which probably doesn't exist so I'm going to create a key for this extension so my program generates an extension when encrypting which is called .efe. So I want to make a key for .efe and not here, but I want to make it in here. So just call it dot .whatever your extension is. Now we want to make the same structure we had in the other one. So shell. Now our software. Key um, easy file encryptor and now we want to make also one which is called default icon and we want to make here the command so right here I'm gonna have another one a string value called icon for the icon at this and this will be the text again so decrypt decrypt with EFE and here we are going to set the command so once again the percent one thing so what this basically does is it passes the file name to our software so obviously we have to set it up in our software to make it uh, receive the file name or basically it's always receiving but we need to uh, use the information we can get and here I'm going to add sorry I was wrong with this one we are going to delete it and it needs to be right here default icon and here I'm just going to give it the location of an ICO file and then we can close this and now when I right click on this I'm going to encrypt it and then I have a .efe file and as you can see it automatically has this icon and then I can right click and decrypt with EFE and why this is bold is because my EFE file only has one software 
So in this case, it has a lot of software, but the txt file is mainly opened by the notepad, that's why it's on top here. But right here, I mainly open it with this one because it doesn't use me anything if I open it with notepad. See, this is what I get for opening it up with a notepad. Therefore, if I double click at this, it's giving me my main software. And I can decrypt it, but that doesn't work right now because there is already a file there. Now for the coding part, it depends on what language you're using, but in case you're using any .NET language, then it's environment.get command line arguments. And this is what we are receiving when we right click context menu. And then we can read it as a string to any variable like I do. So yeah, this was how to add your software to the right click context menu. And yeah, I hope you liked this tutorial and see you next time. Peace out.